Good morning, you guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, this morning, I kind of wanted just to remind us of a message that we talked about earlier in the um, in the school year last year. And we talked um, about suicide, which I know is a super hard topic, but we kind of talked about at Youth Group that we're going to commit to continuing to have this conversation together. And we talked a lot about that. We talked about how it impacts our friends, people around us, how maybe some of us might be struggling with that. And we, we kind of committed that we would have this ongoing conversation about suicide. And this month is actually Suicide Prevention Month. And this whole week is all about bringing awareness to the struggles that we or our friends may be having. And today, I kind of wanted to remind us of a message that we talked about. Because in this pandemic, a lot of us may be having these feelings of like, that this might not end, that the pain, the feeling of being overwhelmed, that that, that is just going to continue on and may, it may feel unbearable. Or you may be struggling with, am I ever going to be happy again? Am I, am I going to be able to get back to normal, that ever, that feeling, that state of feeling happy or joyful, right? You may be questioning that. And in the midst of all that, you may be questioning your value or your worth, feeling like it would be better to just not be here anymore. No one would care. It wouldn't make a huge impact on others. You may be feeling like that. Well, I want to remind you of the truth that we talked about this year. These are the words of Jesus written in the book of John. And this is in John 10, 10. And this is what Jesus, he says, this is what Jesus says. He says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. And so I want to remind you today that if you're having these feelings of like you're not worthy or you're not valuable, you're actually believing a lie because that's not true. And you're not living the fullest life that God has offered to you. If you're believing that the world is better off without you, that it would be better, that's a lie, you guys. And you're, again, not living life to the fullest. That's as if your your life is being stolen from you. It's being, it, it's being destroyed. And if you feel like the pain is never going to end, that this is not going to end, that we're never going to get out of this, guys... I want to remind you, that's a lie. And again, the life that Jesus is offering you, it's, it's being taken from you. A lot of this seems difficult. A lot of this seems like something that we can't handle. But here's the good news. Jesus came to bring us life, to give us life to the fullest. And in the midst of all this, he gives us each other to help us build each other up, to love us, to remind each other of who we are, the value and worth that we've been given, and to remind each other that God is with us in all of this, that we are with us in all of this. And we can maybe not feel like we can handle it on our own, but with each other, with help, we can. And so I just want to encourage you today, if you are struggling with thoughts like this, if you're struggling, reach out to one of your youth leaders, reach out to a friend. If you have a friend that's struggling with this, check in on them. Be a listening ear and help them get the support they need. In fact, I want to make sure that I tell you about the suicide prevention hotline. So if you're having thoughts like this or if you have a friend, make sure you guys go to 1-800-273-8255. You can always just call 911 if you can't remember that number, but write that down. Stick it on a sticky note. Stick it in your pocket. Put it in your phone, whatever you need to do. But remember... Don't let lies steal the life that God has given you, that he is offering to us. I love you guys. Check in on each other. All right? Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you soon. Bye.